Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and today we're talking about recording your screen and doing screencasts. So I generally use a program called ScreenFlow, which is for the Mac, and there's also something called Camtasia or Jing for the PC. Now, what if you're out on a different computer or you just want to do something quick to record how you do something for a team member, for a client, for a friend, for your parents, who knows, you just want to record something on the web, well, there's something called Screener. It's free, it's easy to use, and I'm gonna show you how we can get started recording right away. So all we have to do is go to this website, click this record button right here, and then we'll get five minutes to record. So first of all, I'll click allow to make sure that, yes, I do allow this recording. Okay, so this is what we get. We actually get this screen that pops up in our browser so we don't need to download any software or get anything else other than just using this screener page. So all we have to do is we can actually resize this to a bigger screen if we wanted, we could make it smaller, we could change the aspect ratio, um, you know, whatever you think that you need to do and you can also just move this around. So I'm just going to go ahead and record a quick video to show you how this works. So I'll click record. So it's going to give us a little countdown to tell us when it's going to start recording. So now we have five minutes starting right when it says go. And so now we can actually go to any website and just go ahead and check things out if you wanted to. So we would have, you know, the ability to see what's going on on this screen. We can talk. This is being recorded. Um, if you didn't like it, you could also delete it. But I'm just going to go ahead and stop this right now. And then we would just go back here to our screener page which we have to keep open in another tab so make sure that if you do record you open a new tab because otherwise it's going to stop recording. So now I would go ahead and type in a little description and then hit publish and so for me because I just hooked it up with my Facebook account um, all I have to do is just be logged in and then it'll actually start publishing. So great, so now I have this URL that I can send to anyone you know, who needs to learn how to do whatever I just showed them. And I can use this to do all kinds of cool stuff like record videos for team members, for yourself so you remember how to do stuff. Uh, you could post it to your website. See here you can get the embed code so you can go ahead and grab this embed code, paste it into the HTML fields in your WordPress site and then you've got this video that you can immediately embed on your WordPress site. You can also download this file, you can publish it to YouTube which is awesome or if you just want a quick and easy way to do it without having to re-upload or download or publish somewhere else you can just keep this URL right up here and send that to anyone in an email or even just put it on a document that you want to share with other people so they know how to use it. So that's the really quick tip I want to share with you this week. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe on the YouTube channel because I've got lots more great videos coming your way. And then if you enjoy this video and you want to leave me a comment, I would really appreciate that. And then make sure to head back over to gettechynow.com to get a free website checkup and to find out what else you can do with your website. Thanks again. This has been Natalie Lucier and I look forward to talking to you soon.